Whether you have already lost a job or you are scared that you're going to lose one, people are feeling anxious and understandably so. With more than 22 million people who filed for unemployment and with the daily threat of more businesses closing, uh, it's nerve wracking. So this morning, Blanca Cobb is talking about how to deal with that anxiety. So Blanca, what's the danger of uncontrolled anxiety? When you have uncontrolled anxiety, what happens is you tend to make the problem bigger because it feels bigger. So there's a lot of negative thoughts. For example, it could be, what if I can't find a job? There's a lot of competition. What if I don't get the number of hours that I need and I still have all these bills to pay? So not only does your mind run away with you, but you can also have nightmares. You can have sleep difficulties. You may not even exercise. You can either start drinking or smoking, or that can increase for you. And then you're very irritable and on edge, and that can cause problems like with your family, people that you're around. All right, so it's important to manage that anxiety. Mm -hmm. How do you best do that? The best way to do that is you have to find something that is going to calm not only your mind, but your body. So you hear what I'm going to tell you, you hear this all the time, go and exercise, make yourself exercise. Even if it's 10 minutes, it really is going to help calm you physically and emotionally. And then writing research shows when you write in a journal, you can write all your concerns, what's wor worrying you. Also write about what you can control and think about the positive. As I was saying, research shows that it can really help you. When you change your perspective, you can change your outlook. So if you're focusing on that positive, you're changing that perspective and it's going to help you relax and it's gonna help you look for more solutions. Those are great points. And so is it normal to have this anxiety? Yes, it absolutely is. Look, you cannot go through life without feeling anxiety from time to time. The deal is this, it's when it takes over your life, where you can't think, you can't concentrate, you don't interact, where you implode, that means you pull into yourself. When it interferes with your daily life, then you know it is a problem. So the suggestions that I'm giving you, try those. And then if there are other ideas that you have, try those too. And if you can't get a hold of your anxiety over a few weeks, then my suggestion is to call a mental health professional. All right, great tips. Thanks so much, Blanca. You can continue this conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page. Just search Blanca Cobb Body Language Expert.